Happy Tuesday, my ASVAB party people. Coach Anderson here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a general arithmetic reasoning practice test question. So feel free to pause the video, give it a shot if you'd like to, before I solve it. Five, four, three, two, and one. So have you ever felt like you've gone through a word problem and you just can't really figure out what the right way to go about it is? You think there might be a formula involved, but you don't know what to do? Well, this is one of those questions that might have you question things. You really just have to be able to pay attention and understand the story. The story comes first. If you try to go ahead and just focus on the numbers, you're going to get distracted. So let's get to it. Let me show you how to stay calm, cool, and collected. Number one, right over here, what's the question? The question starts, if each cookie costs 75 cents, ignore that. Here's the question. What was the total revenue from cookie sales for these three days? Right there. That's what we're looking for, my party people. The total revenue from the cookies over the three-day span. I think that we don't need math to understand what the question is. The question is just trying to figure out how much money for these three days. So that's what you want to focus on. Keep it simple. We'll see where the information takes us, but just keep it nice and simple for now. Starting with the question, we're looking for total revenue over the three days. All right, so now that we know what we're looking for, let's read through the information and let's see what the problem gives us to work with. So let's check it out. A local bakery sells cookies in boxes of 12. Okay, so each box is 12. That's what I got from that at least. So cookies in boxes of 12. All right, sounds good. Next up, we see that it says on Monday, they sold 15 boxes of cookies. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward, it seems like. On Monday, let me just write this up here. Monday, in terms of boxes, that's going to be 15 boxes of cookies. Then we continue reading and it says on Tuesday, they sold three more boxes than on Monday. So I think we can do the math there. If Monday was 15, three more than Monday would be 18. So Tuesday would be 18. Okay, and now we'll check out Wednesday. It says Wednesday, they sold twice as many boxes as on Tuesday. What was Tuesday? 18, so Wednesday is double that, twice as many. So that's going to be 36. So we have the number of boxes for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. This should feel pretty straightforward, right? We should be looking at this and saying, well, Great, we have 15 boxes on Monday, 18 Tuesday, 36 Wednesday. Let's just add them all up and we're done. No, remember, what's the question? The question is asking you to find the total revenue for three days from the cookie sales. How do we find the revenue from the cookie sales? Well, guess what? Right over here, this is the biggest piece of information. They tell us that each cookie costs 75 cents. So what does that mean? 75 cents per cookie, 75 cents per cookie. Remember, that's a rate. So to find the total amount, what we need to do is take that rate, dollars per cookie, and multiply it by the number of cookies that we sold. So think about it. If you're trying to find distance in a rate problem, that's gonna be the rate times the time. The rate if it's miles per hour, you multiply by hours. If you're trying to find the total cookie revenue and you know the dollars per cookie, you multiply that by cookies to get the total revenue. Let me know in the comment section if that makes sense to you. So with that, let's get into it here. We need the total number of cookies so that way we can multiply all those cookies by 75 cents. So right here, 75 cents multiplied by all cookies. And we're good. Now the only question is, how do we find all the cookies? Super easy. We know that each box, let me go ahead and highlight this in green as well. Each box comes in a pack of 12. So what that means is we have everything we need right here. 15 on Monday, 18 on Tuesday, 36 on Wednesday. If we add that together, we'll get the total number of boxes. We see that 15 plus 18, That'll end up being, what, 33, then 33 plus 36, that's going to end up being 69. And there we go. 
So we have 69 boxes. And we know that each box is 12 cookies. Each box is 12 cookies. So how do we find the total number of cookies? We'll take 69 boxes multiplied by 12 cookies in each box. And that's going to give us the total number of cookies. That right here, this right here, again, the total number of cookies, once we do the math, that's what we'll multiply by the 75 cents. So let's get into the work now. 69 multiplied by 12. 9 times 2 is 18. 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1 is 13. Then we have 9 times 1, 6 times 1. Add these together and we will have 8, 12, carry the 1, and 8. All right, cool. So we have 828 cookies. This right here, we are not done yet. Be careful because 828 was one of the answers. You're done because you wouldn't have noticed that, oh no, we're looking for again, the revenue, not the number of cookies. And so we know that for every cookie, 75 cents. So that's what we'll do over here. Let's go ahead and grab, let's say blue. And we'll go ahead and do 828 multiplied by 75 cents per cookie. Here we go, my part of evil. So we have eight multiplied by five, that's 40. Two times five is 10, carry the four is 14. Eight times five is 40, carry the one is 41. So we have 41, 40. Now we'll go to the next line for the seven right here. Eight times seven, that's gonna be 56, carry the five. Then we have two times seven is 14, carry the five is 19. And then we have eight times seven again is 56, carry the one is 57. Now we add all of this back up and we have four plus six, that's 10, carry the one. One plus nine plus one is 11. Seven plus four is 11 plus the one is 12. And then we have the six. Booyah, my party people. The last thing we do when we multiply by a decimal is bring those places back. One, two, and there it is. We have earned a total of $621 from all of these cookie sales. And there it is. As always, my party people, it's always a pleasure helping you succeed. So make sure to comment down below. And since you got to the end of this video, don't forget, we actually have another class tonight exactly on this. Practice test questions for the arithmetic reasoning. So make sure to check out the link in the description of this video to get my full program. That's how my students raise their scores and get the jobs they want. And don't hesitate, it works. So go ahead and check out the link or text me right here in case you have any questions at all about it. Just introduce yourself, let me know you're interested in my full program, and we'll get to work. As always, I love y'all my party people, and I'll see you in class tonight. Cheers. You made it to the end, my party people. Thanks for watching as always. And as a reminder, remember that you're not just trying to pass. Remember that once you actually have a solid foundation, a passing score is the bare minimum for you because you'll see so many more job opportunities open up and that's what I'm here to help you do. If you're gonna serve our country, it might as well be in the job that you chose, that you deserve and you worked for. So if you wanna learn more about how to raise your score and get that job that you deserve, go ahead, text me. My phone number is right there. That way we can talk about a plan to get you from where you are to where you wanna be. I'm here for you, my party people. I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you in the next video. Text me now. You got this.